been, been around this game for a long time, but is this a special fight even for you, this atmosphere, this opportunity? Uh, it's another another big fight, another big day. Uh, uh, what I've been doing, so. Nate, last week I kind of called you a solo gangster from the hood. He called you a fajita, kind of racially charged. How did you feel about that? It's whatever, man. He's saying, he's saying, uh, he's saying what he's got to say. So, uh, Is that just for the fight, just promoting the fight, you think? Whatever he wants, it will be uh, coming to fight. And uh, it, it is what it is. What do you make about him wanting the fight at 170? Do you think that favors either one of you guys? Uh, he didn't want the fight with him. We just, we just, it just ended up at 170. You know? the, uh, the fight was uh, played around with like and uh, for months. Uh, they offered me left and right this fight, and uh, you know, I did like several three-day training camps for this short notice shit. And uh, I said, all right, no more playing. If we're gonna, if we're gonna fight, short notice, no camp. No, then why wait for it, you know? So I'm still lightweight, I'm a light, lightweight fighter. And uh, martial artist, no, no weight classes uh, necessary. I think a lot of people are worried about, with it not being 155, that you might not be in shape. The fact that you can't get to 155, that you might not be in shape, you might be a little bit different fighter. Are you saying that that's not the case, that it's just the same? Or I might be in better shape. Nate, there's been a lot of talk about the moment of a McGregor fight. The McGregor fights are bigger than other fights. You've been in a lot of fights. Does this feel different to you, this moment? Uh, it just feels a little different because it's a short notice and uh, like a lot of shit crammed into one little week. But it's it's pretty much the, uh, it's a big show. I've been on a lot of big shows and uh, it's, a, it's a big deal. Though. There's a lot of people here, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. Did your emotions change any any little bit after that crazy press conference last week? Did you find yourself thinking differently about McGregor before, as you do now? Uh, no, it's just like uh, I seen him do his thing, and uh, I, I, I pictured and visualized it pretty much how, how it was going to go. So, uh, that's my thought. Now, people say stuff in the build up to fights, but. Sometimes people overstep the mark. When he called you a cholo gangster, was that overstepping the mark in your mind? No, that's his. That's his. Uh, that's his. Uh, that's what he thinks. That's what he thinks. Got my opinions too. That's a cool tattoo. Thank you. Nate, now like that you've that. Gone, Nate, now gone through the press conference with Connor, do you have any different feelings about the guy or the way you look at the guy? What do you think of him for the sport? Um, he, you know, big, a lot of talk, a lot of, a lot of uh, exposure, a lot of. A lot, of, a lot of cameras, so uh, it's good. Obviously, it's good for the sport. It's good for everybody's pocket. He says a lot of stuff that I felt the same way about, so uh, at least to listen to somebody. You know? <laughs> so. What about him as a fighter, though, as a martial artist? Do you, do you have respect for him, or do you think it's overblown? I like I like his fight style a lot better than a lot of people's fight style. The fight, the fight games we got really weak in the last long time, so. Uh, so uh, I guess I could say that I appreciate somebody who can come and fight. Nate, you're talking about uh, fighting styles. A lot of people, your reach, your kind of length versus his lateral movement and his speed. How do you plan on uh, kind of counteracting that and getting ahead of that? We'll see what happens. I got moves too. Do you think you talked about steroids at the press conference back in LA? Why do you believe that about McGregor? Uh, not, not just McGregor. I believe that about everybody. Uh, it's gonna be harder to prove to me that, that that people are not on steroids before. Before it's easier to believe that people are on steroids. Are on steroids. You know, I believe everybody got steroids in time. Everybody in this game has been, you know, uh, and is. And I don't, I don't think that. You know, over the years and the people I talk to and the way shit goes, I'm like, I can, like the whole, the whole roster on steroids on every organization, in every sport. You got a six pack, probably on steroids. <laughs> Nate, do you think this guy respects you as a That was really, that was not, that was not nice to say. Some people got six packs, but you know what I'm saying? A lot of these people, a lot of these people in here are on steroids, so that's my opinion on that. Nate, do you think this guy respects you? And if, and if so, why? Or, or if, if not, why? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that he recognizes, you know, the real, real fighters who fight for real, and, and uh, 
kind of uh, a real fight when he sees one, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he recognizes him. You said last week that he's beaten a lot, a lot of midgets and smaller guys. Are you more impressed with what he's accomplished uh, so far? Well, I mean, just real pumped up on, on uh, and confident in his prediction and all this stuff, but, you know, it's like, Look at your lineup. Look at my lineup. You know, I, you know what I'm saying? I've been fighting top top five guys, top top eight guys in lightweight and welterweight since the last nine years. So uh, we've been fighting real guys. So see what happens. So another, it's another, another, you know, different different type of type, type of person. You know? Hey, if Styles makes fights. What kind of fight will this be, Nate? Gonna be a fight. He said he's gonna finish you in the first round. How do, you, how do you feel about that? And then if not, if you don't, then what? <laughs> you know? Gang, let's make a switcher. Those in the back can come in for for a few minutes with Nate, and we'll get him we'll get him going.